Adult 27 here, bring another live reaction and review on Bleach Chapter 639, Baby Hold Your Hand 2. So yeah, this is going to be like the continuation between the fight of Pernita and Mayuri, so let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, Mayuri seems to be disappointed in his uh, job of uh, operating his own arm. Seems he's a bit rusty and calls it pretty unsightly. Sounds like you're no longer as confident as you were before. Oh, but Mayuri's like smiling. <laughs> oh, is that how you interpret this? How about I shake your confidence some more? Okay, so I guess this is going to be Bernita's counterattack again. What the hell is going on with that finger? Uh, more fingers are popping out from it and... Oh! Oh, that, that finger, like, became another hand. Okay, well, I guess it can do that. So yeah, that hand is going after Mayuri. Okay, I don't know what happened here, but Mayuri, like, waved his hand or maybe threw something at it, at it and uh, the hand goes boom. I don't... I don't know. It's, okay, well, he uh, knocked it away, so... Uh, yeah, and it's screaming. Yeah! <laughs> So the digit I tore off became an entirely separate left hand? This means chopping you up into little pieces is definitely out of the question. And, oh, my already noticed something. And is, that, is that blood squirting? I'm not sure. Um, what the hell? Okay, um, uh, Pernita just tore off his its middle finger. I don't know what to call it, he or she. Just call it it. Yeah, um, Perdita tore off the middle finger. I guess he's trying to create another hand. I call it a he again, God damn it! I don't know. <laughs> How is it not in pain for tearing off one of his fingers? And that's a lot of blood. I mean, I'm surprised this thing isn't gonna die of blood loss. Uh, I'm getting blood in my eye. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you tore off your finger. Ow, ow. Let's see. I recall reading about this in my youth. What does he mean by that? Oh, flashback, okay. Uh, the Soul King's right hand is stillness. The left hand governs progress. Isn't that so? So, okay, let me get this right. There are books about the Soul King. And they mention about the right hand and the left hand. Right hand is stillness, I guess it, you know, stops. And left hand means progress. So I guess moving forward, uh, okay, what about the other limbs of the Soul King? Does the other Shinigami aside from Ayori and Squad Zero know anything about the Soul King? Like, well, maybe Urahara and maybe Shinsui, but what about everyone else? I mean, did they get, like, info about the Soul King? Do they have, like, books about him just like Mayori, or is it just Mayori? And, okay, that's the end of the flashback. What was the point of that? Like, okay, you could have just said, oh, I remember reading about this in my youth, and you just show a panel of a younger Mayuri reading about it. Nothing else was shown in that flashback. Like, really, Kubo. But just because it is written in a book does not make it an actual fact. I'm the type of individual who can't fully commit to something until I verified it with my own hands. But for me to be given the opportunity to actually follow up on both of those with some actual data from first-hand experience. My, my, what a marvelous fight this has turned out to be. It is understandable why Mayori is the kind of guy that likes to prove facts going for the hands-on approach. No pun intended, of course. <laughs> and there are the hands. Three left hands, oh, three left arms, I should say. The enemy is a left hand, a left hand, and a left hand. No shit. <laughs> Mario grasping his own puck toe, and uh, looks like he's going to do something. Is activating Bankai? Bankai, yes! Finally! It's been a while since we've seen, um, was it, Konjiki Ashisogi Jizo, yeah. Uh, Yumichika is freaked out. Is it because of the pull poison thing? The golden Ashisogi Jizo doesn't just crush opponents with its massive size, it's also able to release poison covering an approximate 200 meter radius. Yeah, I mean. We, we know that. We've seen Mayuri use his Bankai before. We know it uses poison, and we know that it's a massive, giant, baby caterpillar thing. 
Thanks for reminding us, uh, Yumichika. Captain Kurtsuchi is planning on poisoning it to death. We gotta grab Captain Zoraki and get out of here. Uh, poor Kimpachi. He's just standing there, can't move. Uh, bummer. Poison to death, you say. That would be far too extravagant, given the situation. Now, at long last, for all the knowledge I've collected, to give birth. What does he mean by that? Golden Ashisogi Jizo Demon Womb Wrapped in Disease. Is, is that his new Bankai? Like, I... What the fuck is this thing? Okay, um... It's a giant... Baby... Woman... Thing! And considering it's called Demon Wound Wrapped in Disease, it's pregnant. There's a bunch of Japanese writing on the belly and a vertical slit, um... At the center, it's uh, leaning on something like a chair, a uh, rock thing. It looks like a bunch of cushions. What the fuck is this thing? Like, is, is this really his new bankai? Like, what the fuck? Like, what is it actually called? I have like both um, manga stream and manga panda translations anyway, just in case. Konjiki Ashisogi Jizo, Matai Fukui Nishotai. I don't, I don't even, I don't even, like, okay, well, that's his new Bankai. I kind of liked his old one, though. This is just, okay, well, let's just see what it can do. I reconfigured my Bankai, well, figures. I redesigned the Golden Lake Cutter Jizo, the Konjiki Yashi Shogi Jizo, by implementing the Demon Wound Wrapped in Disease. What was it? Was it uh, Matai Fukuin Shotai. It is a complete metamorphosis of the Golden Lake Cutter Chizo, and its ability by using all the information that I send it during a battle, it is able to give birth to new Ashisogi Jizos. What? So his Bankai, this new one, has the ability to um, create new Ashisogi Jizos by using the information, the intel that Mayuri has gathered. And apparently puts that in the Zanpak toe, activates the Bankai to create a new Ashisogi Jizo capable of defeating his opponent. Well, shit, Mayori. I, I mean, people say you're broken, and I thought you could never surprise me anymore. But you have, yet again. Uh, ew. Ew. Ashisogi Jesus, but god damn it, now now the, the, the baby thing of what looked like Konjiki Ashisogi Jizo just burst out of the belly. <sighs> Fucking hell, Mayori! Like, what the hell? <sighs> Ugh. This Ashisogi Jizo has its nerves right on the surface of its skin. Well, wouldn't that be easier access for Perdita to use the nerves to control its body? Oh, let's see, the baby falls, it screams, it's so fucking creepy! Oh my god! So simply having the air blow on it or the touch of the ground causes him severe excruciating pain. Well then why do you have the nerves outside the body? Of the real Pernita, the, the left arm, shooting out nerves onto uh, Shisoki Jizo. I remember it used to look like a caterpillar baby thing. It's like a half baby, half bug, and it's just a baby now. No bug. The important part is those nerves on his surface, they're split across 70,000 different epidermal layers. So there are a bunch of layers, okay? In other words, even if you manage to integrate yourself into its nerves, the epidermal layer will simply shed itself and then that's the end of it. Oh. Okay, that explains why he has the nerves outside of his body. 
Yeah, for Pernita to fully control this thing, he'd probably have to get through all those layers, but that's probably impossible considering, like, how many there are. I mean, you attach one layer, it'll just shed off the body. Okay, it's opening its mouth. And is it gonna eat? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's eating them. It's eating the arms. <sighs> this is so weird. What's wrong? Don't bother. Resistance is entirely futile. Unless, of course, you can work your way through all 70,000 epidermal layers of nerves before you're swallowed whole. Yeah, but if he's inside Ashisogi Jizo, wouldn't he be, like, able to pass through the layers and access the nerves? But then again, he only attacks the nerves that were inside the body, so... Maybe there aren't any nerves inside the body, so... He probably would have to get to um, Ashizoki Jesus' nerves on the outside, but he can't do that because of all those layers. I'm not, I'm not sure, but... Uh, yeah, it looks like it's over! Like, uh, Ashizoki Jizo ate the, ate the hands! Ate the arms of the Soul King! And, uh, yeah, final page, name is there. Um, having swallowed his opponent, it would seem the battle is decided. Or, has it? Well, it's not over? Well, then again. Ending it off like that usually means that it's either over or it's not. Um, oh, there's another note. Nemu's quiet gaze belies her true feelings and determination. Don't miss the next chapter with color cover and intro pages. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Bleach chapter 639. This was weird. Like... Just when you think Mayuri can pull off something that you'd be surprised over, like, just when you thought he couldn't get any more creepier, all he does in this chapter because his new Bankai can give birth to Ashisogi Jizo's six-legged mutant giant babies based on the intel that he gathers on his opponents. And using that intel, the Ashisogi Jizo would be capable of defeating his opponents. Jesus Christ, I hope this isn't the end because, like, I thought we we're gonna see Mayuri go through some sort of struggle for once in a fight, but he's never done that. Not since Uryu. But if this is really the end, then Mayuri is fucking broken. Like, I'm sorry, but he is. I mean, people say, like, Aizen's broken. Well, what about Mayuri? I mean, considering what we've seen. <sighs> like, holy shit. Like, seriously. So, what do I think about his new Bankai? It's fucking creepy. Honestly, I was so used to um, Konjiki Ashisogi Jizo in its uh, caterpillar baby form. Uh, but here, it's just... It's just... Well, it, it is useful. That, that I can say. It's, it's definitely useful. It, it did came in handy, but... I don't... I, I don't know if I like the appearance. But then again, this is Mayuri, so it suits him. So... <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry, it's just that that really creeped me out. And then the Ashisoki Jizo bursting out of the the the, 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 the thing's belly. It just reminded me of like those um chestburster aliens from the alien movies. Uh, so is the fight over? Part of me hopes it isn't because I really want to have a Mayuri go through a challenge during a fight for once. But if it is over, then that means that Mayuri not only defeated one of the elite guards, but he defeated a limb of the Soul King. I'm still waiting on the other limbs, by the way. <laughs> but from what is hinting for the next week's chapter, it seems that uh, there's going to be something going on with Nemu. Not sure what exactly. Or maybe Pernita will be able to get out of this somehow. I'm still having doubts if Mayuri is really going to die. I mean, people say that he might, but... At this point, I don't even know anymore. The flashback was just one panel. I don't know what was up with that. I thought we were actually going to get to learn a little bit more about uh, the left arm of the Soul King. I mean, at least um, Ukitake explained um, to not only the Shinigami, but to us readers more about Mimi Hagisama, the right arm of the Soul King. But when it came to the left arm, it's still a bit of a mystery. And 
I'm still waiting on learning like how the hell you a bot got his hands on it and made it become a storm reader. So I didn't feel like the flashback was really necessary, but uh, the left arm having the ability to like uh, rip off a piece of itself becoming a new arm, that is actually interesting. But I don't know if it has to be specifically the fingers or maybe it could be like any part of the hand, like maybe the stump of the arm or maybe the, the, the hand or maybe the palm of the hand or maybe the outside of the hand, I don't know, but for now it seems like it's the fingers that can become an entirely separate hand. This chapter overall, uh, well, it, it was very weird. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. So tell me guys, what did you think of this week's chapter of Bleach? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you think of Mayuri's new Bankai? Konjiki Ashisogi Jizo, Matai Fukuin Shotai. And do you think this is it from Pernita? And what do you think is gonna go on with uh, Nemu? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe for more videos. And be sure to check out my Facebook fan page and Google Plus. So yeah, that is Bleach Chapter 639. It was weird. <laughs> I'm gonna respond to 27 and I'll see you guys later. Bye.